And right now at 5.30, the Pope in Cuba. It's been a busy day for Pope Francis, who just arrived in Santiago de Cuba following a busy day in Cuba's third largest city, Olguin. While in Santiago de Cuba, Pope Francis will pray to the Virgin of Charity, the patron saint of Cuba. CBS 4's anchor Rick Folbaum is live in Havana. And Rick, great talking to you again live from the capital city. What sort of reception is he now getting in the other parts of the island? Well, he seems to have a lot of fans wherever he goes here in Cuba, Elliot and Erica. And let's take a look at those pictures from Santiago, just into the CBS 4 newsroom. The, the Pope's plane landing in Santiago. This is the eastern part of Cuba. He will celebrate Mass there tomorrow morning. Tonight, he will bless a shrine. And as you said, it's been another busy day on this whirlwind tour for Pope Francis. Earlier today, he was in the city of Olguin. No pope had ever visited that city. So you can imagine there was a lot of excitement there. As we mentioned earlier, this is the capital of the Cuban province where the Castro brothers originally are from. It's also the unofficial capital, I'm told, of Cuban music, which is such a major part of the culture here. The pope's message today very similar in his mass in Olguin to the one that he delivered to the faithful in Havana Sunday. Don't be selfish, he said. Look for ways to help others. But he also acknowledged how difficult it is to be Catholic here in this country, a swipe at Cuba's atheist regime. There is a shortage of churches and priests here on the island. So again, it's Santiago de Cuba tonight and tomorrow morning, and then it's off to the U.S. leg of this papal tour. And Rick, we understand you got a little taste of the Cuban security forces out there. Well, things work a little differently here, Erica, than they do in the U.S. Dissidents, of course, know full well how they're not permitted to voice any opposition to the Castro government. But the press also operates under very different limits. Even if you're a foreign visiting member of the press, as we are here covering the Pope's visit to Cuba, we got a taste of that yesterday. Take a look at these pictures. This is right after the mass in Havana's Revolution Plaza. The press all kept together in one little area. And then after the mass, we were told we'd be able to leave and go and speak with the pilgrims who we had come to, to you know, part of the story is to talk to those who have traveled here from various parts of the country, including South Florida, but they simply would not let us go. And they kept us in this holding area for about 15 or 20 minutes, which may not seem like a very long time, but there were a lot of people on this platform, all of them pushing and shoving. And it got to the point where we really felt like we were in a very dangerous predicament. We were yelling, why can't we go? Why won't you release us and let us go do our jobs? Uh, I was shouting whatever Spanish words I know uh, to try to get their attention and to let, us, uh, to let us go and do our jobs and interview those pilgrims. Eventually, they did let us go. We were able to catch up with them, thankfully. And most importantly, nobody was hurt in the process. But yes, you're right, Erica, it was a taste of the way things work here in Cuba. And, and Rick, real quick, they never gave you any uh, indication of why they were keeping you holed up in that little area? None whatsoever, but I will tell you that the president of Argentina who flew to Cuba and was at the mass yesterday, uh, the press corps traveling from Argentina, they were allowed to go first. Uh, and so someone came over and said, if you're with the Argentinian uh, media, you can come. And I said, well, what? How come they can go and we can't? There were no reasons given for anything at all. So the Argentinian media corps went, and then eventually, as you saw, we were all allowed to leave as well. Yeah, we saw the way they simply ignored your questions. Rick Folbaum, we're glad you uh, were able to get out of that situation and continue doing your job. Great talking to you in Havana.